Hi guys, Jason from Trojan Photography here, and today we're going to talk about panning. I'm going to go over the settings you're going to need on the camera, the technique of doing it, and why you may want to learn how to do panning and do it. So we'll go over why. So if you've ever been to a car event or any sort of event where people are running or moving or there's movement and you want to capture it, Panning is a great technique to get it. It shows everything in a still. It shows the movement in a still. So we'll put up a photo now. Now this is just a normal shot taken in just automatic settings and you can see the car. It's frozen, it's there. It looks like the car is just parked there and you've taken a photo of it. There's no action, there's no movement, there's no nothing, no dynamicness in it. It's a very static subject. So we're going to go over how you'd go about panning and the techniques. So first of all we'll go over the settings. So I've just got my Canon 550D the Sigma 7200. Now first of all you're going to want it in autofocus. And if you've got optical or image stabilisation either turn it off. Otherwise if it's got a setting for panning, turn on to that. Okay? So now let's go to the back of the camera and we'll look at those settings. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, look at the top of the camera, and turn it into aperture, pro um, shutter priority. So on the Canon that's TV, time value, but it's shutter priority. Okay, so we've got an ISO 100, 1 60th of a second, so that's going to capture the movement. Um, I shoot in RAW because you can edit it more and I think it's a good thing to learn. So because it's in RAW you can change all the white balance, so we're on auto white balance. Go to the autofocus mode, AI servo, or continuous autofocus, so as I pan with the subject we're going to track it, and it's going to keep that in focus, that way if the subject moves closer or further back we should be alright. So that's alright. We'll go into continuous shooting, so burst mode, so we can take continuous consecutive shots and we'll go over why and that and then for the focus I've got center point focus that way it's when it's audit, when it's tracking the focus it's not going to want to track off anything else it's gonna are you you gonna I'm gonna keep the subject in the middle of the frame because I want to fill the frame with the subject and we'll go from there okay so now we'll go out to the field I went out to Sydney Motorsport Park and we'll go over the technique of panning there okay Let's go. Okay, so at the park you can see I'm standing quite comfortably. I've got my legs sort of spaced quite nicely so I'm quite stable there. I've got my left hand under the lens because it is a very heavy lens and you don't want to put too much pressure on the, um, the mount to the camera. You can bend it, you can do all sorts of bad things to it. And as you can see I'm just sort of turning at the hips, moving my whole body with it as the car goes past, locking it in through the lens, through the viewfinder and I'm following it and I'm following the motion of it. So with the left hand I've got my elbow locked in so there's no vibration, there's no shake really and I'm also adjusting the focus so as the car gets closer to me I'll zoom out, if it gets further away I'll zoom in to try and keep the frame nice and filled. And so with my right hand I've got that on the trigger obviously as it goes past once it gets into the spots I want I'll hold the button down for three or four bursts. Don't try and max out the burst rate. So this camera has a burst rate of six before it starts to buffer and you don't really want to hit that because once you start hitting that, that's when you rely on the card to have to write a lot more and you've got to wait longer and longer. So three or four bursts, snap, snap, snap. As the car comes fast, then go back, look for the next car to come, snap, 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 and just sort of keep going with that panning motion keep tracking it and keep following the way it goes. So just watch the movement nice and smooth, nice and controlled, followed through. So now we'll go ahead and we'll get a first person shooter view of it and you can see exactly how I follow it. You can see which way the lens goes and how I follow through with the car in time to get that motion. Okay, so first shooter mode, this is where I've got my video camera mounted right on top of my camera so you can see the bottom of my lens there so you should be able to see how I track and follow it. So I'm in that same position settings like we we're talking before and you can see I'm sort of just following the car as it goes around. Now for positioning to get these shots it's best to go on a corner 
Now you're going to think, why, but on the corner it's slowest, but that's the easiest to track. And with that 1 60th of a second, you're really going to get that motion. At 1 60th of a second, if you took a static shot, the car would just be completely blurred because it moves too fast. You've got to have over 1 500th of a second to sort of capture a freeze motion of it. So at 1 60th, you're really going to capture that motion. So watch as I follow through and you can see the lens is going at about the same speed as the cars and that's how it's going to work. So it comes back and I watch the car, look at it through the viewfinder, follow it with the lens, follow it through nice and steady, nice and smooth in that strong position, good stance, elbow in so you're not shaking the lens up and down and just sort of smoothly following it through as the car passes through the zone. Okay guys, and that's the tutorial for you, so I hope you like it, so a quick recap. You want to have the lens set on autofocus, you want to have it either the image stabilisation off or in the panning mode if it has one. Camera settings, you want it in time value so you, and set it to 1 60th of a second. The lowest ISO possible without it going too low and getting too dark. You want to have it in AI server mode so it's following the action and it's constantly changing focus to keep on that subject. You want a single focus point, whether it be the middle or the side, wherever you want that action to be captured across. For your positioning, you really want to be in a nice sturdy position, elbow tucked in, especially because you're going to be using a longer lens with this. You want to be panning with your whole body, don't just turn the camera from the hip, so turn nice and smoothly, nice, and follow it. Follow the action as it comes through. You want to be located sort of on a corner, preferably an inside corner, because as it moves, you want to keep the whole car in focus, and that's the easiest way to do it. And just keep practicing. Take short bursts of three or four photos. Don't hold it down and go crazy like a machine gun with it or anything. Just nice and calm and just practice, practice, and you will get it. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You can find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Trojan Photography. Find me on the net at trojanphotography.com. So thanks, guys. I'll leave you with a couple of images that I captured from the day. Hope you enjoy. And leave any comments below if there's any questions you have about this tutorial or if you want anything explained a bit more. I'm happy to answer more. So thanks.